Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, the, the weapon level, I think the weapon itself starts at level zero. So that it would be impossible with an original weapon to get up to level two on it. Damn it. These things need to die. And then this thing. Damn, how do you hit me from behind? Damn it, I don't like being moogled like that. Moogle is not for fighting. Moogle is for loving. And gloves have reached level one. So I think... Actually, I'm maxed out now. I think I misspoke before. I think the weapons actually start at level zero. So let's switch things around again. Um... Oh, you need to stay on the spear. You need to switch over to... You know what? You can use the boomerang. Why not use the boomerang? And then, uh... That's good for now. That's good. We still need to level up the spear. And then we'll see if the, uh... The, the arrows up... Really? I'm up against chairs? Yes, of course we are. These are polter chairs! Not just regular chairs. And we have to take on the whole freaking dining room table of them. I don't understand why, but the tables are after us, and therefore must be defeated. Evil, evil chairs. Level 7! This one is real. Why there is one real chair and three fake ones, I'll never know. It's a forever alone table, maybe. That's all I got. Stop giving me the buzzing sound, I'm not doing anything. Let's head up here, doesn't matter which side we go up to, except that this side has an eye spot. Just poke to death. Poke. And poke. Down goes the eye spy. Not the Chobin Hood, though. Oh, they both had. They both had eye spies on them. That needs to die, though. Damn it. Apparently, you just can't hit the eye spy when it's already hurt. Poke. For the death. And the spear has reached level two. Is there anything over on this side? I don't think it matters which way I go, but I choose left first. That is clearly the best choice of action here. And we can take on werewolves. Once again, these guys are not that difficult, but they do have martial arts training, apparently. I didn't know they offered that to werewolves. Apparently the werewolves are curing. The hell? Since when are werewolves clerics? When did that happen? I missed the memo. And damn it, they cure each other for a shit ton. You know what? We're leveling, we're leveling up to level two here. So there you go. And come on, hit, wait, wait. That that didn't seem to do shit. You guys interrupted my attack. Damn party members ruined my powered up attack and then killed the guy. But more importantly. What? Nothing seemed to happen there. More importantly, they interrupted my attack. That is the one thing they should not have done. Talk to me. We've come to help. Uh, what? Where's Dyluck? Uh, um, maybe with the witch? It's hopeless. These guys seem like zombies. Just like the people in Pandora. You can bet the witch is behind this. Are, are you going to the witch's lair? Yes. Go up to the next floor when three people step on the platform. Oh, bridge. Platform, let's go see it. And here is Nico waiting for us. I am going to use him. Okay, pretty much healed and saved. I'm pretty much broke now, but I do have everybody back onto their normal equipment. We're pretty much going to be sticking with that the rest of the way. We're not going to split up everything perfectly evenly, but we are ready to move on. I did purchase uh, four candies, four chocolates, and three cups of wishes. Uh, there is nothing more that way, so let's just head up here. It was just a room, I think, with uh, polter chairs, if I remember correctly. Uh, so, we are ready to move on. Once again, I can only hit this guy like one at a time. That is annoying. I have to wait for him to fully recover before I can get back up and hit him again. Stop giving me that sound as if I did something wrong. And now we have eye spies and chauvin hoods again. Damn you. We are, we are ready to take you guys on, but first I need to just shake the shit out of that. And it's got a bomb in it. What was the point? No, nine damage. And I've been moogled. What kind of crap is this? 
<laughs> Moogles are made for loving. Where's your pom pom? Freaking half assed Moogle. No. D Moogles without a pom pom. What is this madness? Uh, now, if you really need it, there are a couple rooms that way. I should be fine, though. These are the rooms on the sides are just for experience, I believe. Uh, usually, flats or, or polter chairs. Stop making the sound. There's not a nice sound. Slash. Um, we really need to start leveling up uh, weapons a little bit more effectively. I'll, I'll try to keep everybody. I'll try to keep everybody at least a little bit on par, but not everybody is going to be knowing every weapon. It's just not going to be uh, something that I'm going for. It's a nice thought, but as long as I have a one uh, person knowing each of the, the weapons, then I am happy with that. Just a couple more polter chairs. Yeah, level 8 for Yancey. Nicely done, Yancey. Stop hitting me. Damn, that guy hits hard. Damn you, chair. You need to die. You are not nearly as comfortable as you advertised. Get up here and... Yeah, we can probably talk to you. How you doing? Ew. What noisy little children. See what you get. And then she storms off. Huh. I wonder what's through that door. For one second. Okay, I've done just a little bit of, well, changing things around. Uh, I have changed everybody on the action grid. What I have done, well, Jake needs to move over here, uh, but everybody else was already here. That wasn't changed for anybody else, it needs to be changed for Jake. What I have done for everybody else, though, and needs to be changed for Jake as well, is I need to change the gauge here. Now, you need to, this gauge is interesting. Uh, what it does is it sets the minimum level, and really the only level, at which your, the characters will attack. So right now it's at zero, so uh, Jake will never power up his attack. I need him to power it up to level two before attacking ever. I have everybody else set to max. Hopefully that will make sure that I get very powerful strikes in all the time. I'm also going to be Yancey. Let's head up here for this. And Dialog is there. Allow me the pleasure of sending you to Thanatos. And away goes Dialog. Dialog, Eleni, what have you done with him? What have I done? Well, I just sent him to the ruins in Pandora. My magic doesn't seem to work too well, and I couldn't handle him. But Thanatos wanted him, so I sent him there. Thanatos, the head of a secret organization that intends to overthrow the kingdom. How could you? <laughs> He's already dispatched most of the people in Pandora. All that's left is for Sir Thanatos to storm the castle from the ruins. Now, won't you be so kind as to feed yourselves to my cute little spiky? And Eleni does a little dance. And nothing. Oh, the gate is opening up. I can only mean the spiky is pretty damn big. And it's boss time. We're up against. Are you serious? Are you being serious right now? Yancey's already unconscious. Um, we're up against the Spiky Tiger. That's the name of the boss. Are you serious? This is not working well at all. Stop biting on my Xeon. Hit the freaking... Okay, wow, I need to heal where are my candies? We need to heal Shion here. There we go. Now, you want everybody to be powered up. The reason that I am Yancey should show up soon. No. What the hell? Yancey sees the Reaper. This is not working well at all. This is awful. He's not even doing his freaking attack normally. Alright, switch back to Yancey. There! The freaking tiger hangs out up here. So you need to hit him with the bow and arrow when he's up there. That's the whole reason that I'm freaking Yancey. And when he does that freaking attack, it doesn't freaking count. Of course not. And Xion magic's faded. Yancey's engulfed. And if you hang out on the sides for this fight, it does help out. This is once again one of those 
cases where it would help if you were playing multiplayer. But I am not. So, uh, Shion, you need to be healed. That's that's a medical herb. We need to heal Yancy here. Hang out on the sides if you can. Everybody level up. And then attack. And somehow that missed. How the hell does this guy have homing like that? And... No. We need to heal again. Are you serious? What the hell is he doing? Okay. Candy. Uh, that needs to go on... Uh, we'll put that on Shion. That is my last candy. No, I still got one more. Uh, we'll put that on Jake. That is definitely my last one. We're going to try to level up again to level one. And he did the freaking... Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no! Okay, we need to use uh, chocolate on Yanzi. There we go, just in time. Uh, that is why you have the chocolates. Because you're going to use all your freaking candies. Yanzi again, are you kidding me? Uh, this battle could not be going any worse for me right now. This is, this is ridiculous. Hit the tiger! 21. Are you kidding me? It's it's almost better to just do a normal attack if I could aim the right way. Fire bouquet level 2. That is no good. Hit the freaking tiger! And oh no, magic has faded for all the times that I'm using magic here. Hit the freaking tiger! Come on. Stop trying to hit the tiger and hit the tiger and down it goes and we've made it with the skin of our teeth still intact barely but we have won <laughs> fucking spiky ass tiger that is a tough fight if you're doing this single player that is a tough fight way to go and I don't know of a good way to get around that fight, but there is a boomerang's orb that we get for that fight, and now I can be Jake again. <laughs> good, I like being Jake. Now, the way that you're really supposed to do that is um, switch to Yonsei when the tiger goes up there, and then switch back to Jake when the tiger's in the middle here, but doing that is ridiculous if you ask me. So let's just head down here, and we can talk to Eleni again. What do you have to say about that? I killed your spiky-ass tiger! 